what is going on with our colleges, guys? I talk about these colleges all the time, the safe spaces that they want and all this stuff, the, uh, the coddling, the constant coddling, giving these kids puppy dogs and hot cocoa and, and remember everything that they were giving them after Trump won the election. Well, now the latest thing that some of these colleges are doing is they are actually bringing in ball pits on the college campuses to help these students with uh, their emotional safety. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about, the ball pits. You know, you see them when you go to like a, um, you know, like a Chuck E. Cheese or a Peter Piper pizza, something like that, where all the kids go jump in the big ball pits and everything like that. That's what they're actually bringing on campus. I'm not joking with you guys at all here. This is a, <laughs> this is unfortunately a true, uh, a, a true story here. Uh, they are doing this to try to break barriers, guys, between races and everything like that. Uh, and, and just try to help relieve the stresses, the heavy stresses that these college students are, are, are facing now. Okay, Now, as a part of an ongoing trend, colleges and universities around the country are setting up ball pits as a means to provide their students with, quote, emotional safety. Emotional safety. And according to a report from the College Fix, the ball pits are used as icebreakers to break down racial barriers, facilitate lessons, on wellness and as part of freshman orientation. The ball pits were perfect for allowing students to feel comfortable, explained Kate, uh, Kate Ayat, the wellness programs administrator at Central Connecticut State University. That was the greatest benefit for helping them to have conversations with other students that they didn't know and talk about mental health. They were so relaxed and just hanging out in the little pools, she says. Well, Central Connecticut University isn't the only institution that is actually participating in the new ball pit trend, guys. Schools such as St. Mary's College, Northwestern State University, excuse me, the University of Delaware, and also Ole Miss have joined on this just craze that's taking place, guys. All right, so, I mean... <laughs> They want, this is what they want people to do. This is, they want students to pick up a ball with the ball with a prompt and talk to their partner in the ball pit about their response. The balls start conversations between students and help them to get to know one another on a slightly deeper level. Administrations suggest that the practice is encouraging students to meet others face to face rather than on social media. We write some questions on the bigger balls that we have and that facilitate conversations. That is the goal. So you're gonna go in these little ball pits and you're gonna you're gonna find these little pieces of paper and they're gonna ask different questions and everything like that. I'm sorry, but how does this prepare college students for the real world? How does this make them any more adult? I mean guys, this is stuff for little kids, these ball pits. I got nothing against ball pits. You know, look, if you wanna have it as a, as a group of friends or, or whatever, fine. But you want to do it on a college campus? You already coddle these kids enough. You got to be kidding me, guys. You got to be kidding me. Not ball pits. Well, this is America now in 2017. Um, it's crazy, guys. It's just, it is truly crazy. Guys, on a serious note here, if you're watching this video right now, if you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. You could be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the kingdom of God today where you will have enter everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. I promise you it will be the greatest decision you ever will make. All right, guys. Also, if you prefer, you can email me directly, cardsfan480 at gmail.com. That's cardsfan480 at gmail.com. Write me there. I'll put a, a, a link to the email below in the description. If you have any prayer requests or anything else you need, feel free to write me there. All right, guys. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.